So breathing and posture are multi-system events. When we look at postural control, the most obvious systems that we look at are musculoskeletal and neuromuscular. I need my bones, my joints, my muscles, and I need my brain and the central, the rest of the central nervous system to be able to control it. What I want to bring in are the less obvious systems, cardiovascular, pulmonary, integumentary, skin, connective tissue, and the internal organs, particularly looking at the gastrointestinal system. We're all going to get in touch with our sternums. <laughs> Come to the top of your sternum. Sternal notch, also called the jugular notch. Press back gently. Trachea is right back there. If you didn't press gently, I'm going to hear coughing, and I'll know who pressed back to aggressively. So finding the top of the sternum is easy. How do we find that sternal angle? The sternal angle is approximately three to four finger widths. So if you take your index finger at that sternal notch, take your other hand, index finger to index finger, snugly. Take your index finger off, you're going to come under the baby finger or under your third finger, just kind of depending on your maneuvering. You're going to feel a little bump. That little bump, it's a little bit of a ski jump. That's the bottom of the maneuvering. Stay right there. Don't leave that yet. I'm going to make you find it very specifically. Come up that little bump. Come right underneath, just a millimeter. You're going to kind of turn your hand under. And you should be right on that sternal angle. Press back towards your spine. And if you're on the sternal angle, this is what I should see. Okay, your face should say, that's a little uncomfortable. Excellent. Then it tells you you're right on the joint. Now don't leave that joint. Put two hands up there. Come out to the side off the sternum. If you were on the sternal angle, what are you on now? A second rib. Stay there. You're doing excellent. Walk down till you feel the next rib, which is clearly rib three. And now look and see where it is. You should notice it's right at the level of your armpit. For most of you, if I asked you where is your third rib, it would be like up here somewhere. Most people, if I point to this and say what rib is that, they'll say five, six, I don't know, seven. It's like no, three. So it gives you a good idea on how you would be able to do your own palpation with your patients to be able to walk down or up the rib cage to find specific segments. So that's just to give you a little bit of a handle on palpation.